So good morning everyone and welcome to another video. I'm sure like myself, many photographers out there are struggling a little bit at this time of year. Struggling for motivation for various reasons. Could be the weather, grey overcast days like this, cold, minus 15, uh, and then you factor in the wind chill. And also the COVID restrictions are affecting a lot of people around the world. Uh, I know my friends over in the UK there, uh, they got it pretty bad there. Uh, I think I'm probably the third or fourth lockdown now in various parts of the country. Um, and it really is hard to get motivated. One way to beat those photography blues is to buy yourself a new piece of gear. And that's what I did. Well, I didn't actually do it. It's a Christmas present. Uh, and here it is. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Zeppelin Micro 2 motorized slider. This is a piece of gear that I'm hoping will improve my b-roll. Um, I know some guys out there use them. Uh, I think Photo Ninja was the first guy I seen using one and I've wanted one ever since so finally got my hands on one uh, and today I'm not sure what kind of images I'm going to get today but we're just going to put this through its paces. Not a technical review, just going to stick the camera on here and uh, we'll see what kind of video footage we can get. Great little rig, the build quality is absolutely fantastic. Comes with these neat little feet here. Comes with one battery. Comes also with a ball head, uh, but it's a very small, not terribly good looking ball head. So I did buy another ball head, which I'll show you in a second, to go on here. Uh, and I'm hoping I can get some good uh, filming done with this. So without further ado, I'm gonna stick it on the tripod here. Um, and we'll see what kind of filming we can get done with this. First time out with it, I haven't even downloaded the app yet. Um, I'm just going to use it the manual controls for now. Uh, as I say, it's first time out with it. And guys, here's the ball head I got to, to go along with it. Um, not terribly expensive, got it in uh, Amazon, it's Arca Swiss compatible, but it's going to be adequate for uh, using the XT30 on the slider there. Don't quite know how to pronounce that, but there you go, there's the brand. Um, as I say, Arca Swiss compatible. We'll stick it on the slider, stick the camera on here, and let's go see what we can get. So guys, I've took a few clips with the slider there uh, as I made my way through the park. Um, one thing I did notice, apart from the, uh, it's a little bit heavy in the camera bag, one thing for sure that I noticed is that you get a much better effect when you include some decent foreground, maybe a tree, some grasses if you're down low, that type of thing. As the camera is panning across the, the scene, you get a much better effect if you include uh, something in the foreground. So just bear that in mind if you have one of these sliders or if you're going to buy one of these sliders. On that note, the, the build quality is absolutely fantastic. Not sure if I mentioned that in the last uh, clip there. Really, really well presented package. Uh, you do get a carry case for it, but uh, I just stick it in the bag. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, my bag is not even a large size bag and the slider just fits perfectly in there. Uh, good design on Zepon or Zepon's part there. Yeah, so, so so far I'm happy with it. Bit fiddly to use with the gloves, like I say, I didn't uh, download the app yet, I've just been using it on manual. So with the gloves, even these new photography gloves, it is a little bit fiddly to use. Um, but I'm loving it so far. 
Uh, I think I got a couple of decent clips. I'm going to try a few more. You may recognise this scene behind me from the previous video. It's a bit of a quieter section of the park and right on the edge of a, a farmer's field here. And there's not so many people around. The park was kind of busy and it's it's kind of uh, unsettling when you have people around and you're trying to do a video, you're setting up a slider, you're doing a piece of camera or whatever. So uh, I've came away from there over to this section here and I did take some images here at the weekend. They were okay, wasn't entirely happy with them. Uh, so I'm just going to play around here. I just finished off the video, another bit of b-roll, set up the slider again uh, and see what I can do. I'll catch up with you in a bit but uh, I'm going to try and get that tree again or something like that. Maybe go down a little bit closer to it. Maybe stick the 55 to 200 on again. Catch you in a bit. Guys, on a very day where I didn't think I was going to get very many images, I took a walk around the fence line here of this field like I was uh, saying I was going to do. See if I could get higher up, looking down over that tree and a little bit of a stream there. Uh, and I did take a couple of shots, even took a picture of the fence post which I thought was quite interesting. But then as I moved down, uh, as I looked down across this sort of little valley here, um, I spotted a rock. Uh, so I did a square crop image. I actually did a couple of aspect ratios um, there as well. Um, but the square crop one was the one I was kind of going for, uh, where I had the rock in the foreground, a little bit of a stream coming around, and then the tree in the background. And as I say, I got in nice and close to the rock in the foreground. So. We'll see how they turn out, um, and actually, I uh, actually managed to get some light. The sun came through uh, the clouds there, and it was kind of a dark, moody sky with a little bit of muted sunlight coming through, uh, which actually looked quite good on the back of the camera. So I've got a funny feeling these images are going to be way better than the one from the last video. Um, but who knows, uh, <laughs> it's very, very cold and it's hard to concentrate sometimes. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't pull a slider again, but I'm gonna now, uh, before I end the video, see if I can get a couple more B-roll, uh, shots there. Um, there's a couple of trees here, so I might try the slider on there. Uh, but yeah, catch you in a bit. have it guys um, got some images across here at the edge of the field there uh, the, the trees that I shot at the weekend I got them again but I think they're gonna be much better uh, and I did have some fun practicing with the, the slider so yeah the Zepon slider Zepon whatever you want to say can thoroughly recommend it uh, the build quality is superb like I've already mentioned yeah I, I can't fault it it is going to take a bit of getting used to it it's a new piece of kit 
Um, but for the first time out, and from what I'm seeing on the camera, I think I managed to get some nice footage. But time will tell. Uh, it can only get better. <laughs> so that's it from Irish Town, guys. The sun dropped in behind the clouds here. We've got some flurries now, and the temperature has dropped uh, quite substantially, and the wind has picked up. I don't know if you can hear it on the mic there. But yeah, I think it's time to call it. So we'll head back home, we'll put all this together and see if we can't get half a decent video with some nice footage and hopefully a couple of nice images to share with you. Guys, really appreciate you watching. Give me a big thumbs up. If you can, hit that subscribe button. I'm making a big push. I'm going to try and go for 500 subscribers before the end of the year. So, got 11 months to do it. So, <laughs> let's hope and uh, help me on my way there. Give me the thumbs up hit that button. Thanks again for watching guys. Cheers for now.